Hi, in today's video we're going to take a look at the Automate CNC single bar feeder. This video is really going to be two parts. We're going to take a look at the bar feeder in action as well as installation of the bar feeder itself. This bar feeder is capable of pushing an inch and a half diameter bar, nine foot long. Uh, the unit comes with the hydraulic pump, bar feeder assembly, and four spindle liners for different diameter bars. So this unit here is the hydraulic unit. You fill up hydraulic fluid in the back. Uh, on the front you have a level gauge and temperature gauge. The controls are really simple. Uh, you have a forward, a stop, and a reverse. It will feed forward until it feels resistance, you know, with the pressure sensor. Uh, and then it backs off pressure, so you should see that backing off. Now we're feeding a little bit. So it's a constant force, constant feed of hydraulic fluid on that bar. As soon as it feels a resistance, uh, then it cuts the pressure. We'll cover a little bit more of what's going on here in the installation video, but real quickly, this is your uh, hydraulic fluid return reservoir. Just grabs, you know, hydraulic fluid falling out of the end of the tube down the down the hose and into the reservoir system itself. This socket head cap screw holds the actual pusher mechanism in place. You have a pressure sensing tube here. This is what the actual control unit's reading. When it senses pressure, it backs off uh, hydraulic pressure. Um, this is your actual hydraulic fluid feed line and then a clamp to clamp the whole assembly in place. We'll cover more of that in a bit. This piece you're looking at here, it's not going to make a lot of sense now, but it will when we actually change a bar. You actually slide this whole assembly on the supporting arm to change tubes from the front and push it back when it's not in use. So the next step in the process is replacing uh, stock. So the first thing you do is, you know, grind a bevel on the end of your uh, stock so it fits inside the cup and you'll see more on that later. So we'll set this aside. Unlock. Slide the leveling support out. You only want to slide it out as far as you need to. Uh, and then the stock just slides right down the front of the spindle. This bar feeder is actually pushing the part from uh, the back side of the spindle. So there's constant pressure on it. When the jaws open on the chuck, uh, the you know stock is pushed through. So this is a bar feeder in action. So here you can see in the first operation, we just did a facing cut and taking 30 thou per pass. Finishing cut, backs out, changes tools to a parting tool. Pulls out, 
chuck opens, dwell, chuck clamps. Cycle starts again. tool is actually used as a stop. Plunger pushes the stock out until it meets the side of the parting tool and then goes back into position.